And more from Mel Kuyper Jr. This is his month. Here's his top five guards in the NFL draft. Among the five, guard out of UMass, Vladimir Dukas, a native of Haiti and a top prospect. Michelle Bonner spoke with him today. His whole life will change in three weeks, but in the months leading up to the NFL draft, Vladimir Dukas' life has been more than just football. The devastating earthquake in Haiti hitting close to home, literally. Dukas, who was born in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, had to wait two days to find out about his home and his loved ones. He learned that all of his family was safe and his home received no more than some minor damage. But that good news is bittersweet with the concern that still lingers about his cousins and the people who were not as fortunate as he was. And Vladimir Dukas joining us now on ESPN News. How difficult has it been trying to focus on preparation for the NFL draft and also thinking about those that are back in Haiti? Um, back then, um, when it all happened, that was probably a week before going to the Senior Bowl. So, you know, I was already getting ready for that, which is probably what's going to be like the biggest week of my life. And, and with the earthquake that happened in Haiti, it was another one. So that, that kind of brought me down a little bit. But, um, but you know, I knew, um, you know, as soon as I found out that everybody was okay, you know, I just I went on, you know, kept everything the same way it's been. And, that's it. Well, some would say, obviously, being able to have such an enormous focus like you have on the yeah. NFL draft can be somewhat cathartic, a, a chance to sort of keep your mind off of what may be taking place. Mm -hmm. But it, it's funny because we ask NFL draft prospects all the time what they plan to do with that, you know, first big paycheck. Yeah. And I was reading that you're not really thinking about the fancy cars and jewelry nah. and stuff like that. What do you plan to do? Just pretty much um, be able to help my family financially, you know, like my uncle, like he took me in when I first came here, you know, put food on the table, clothes on my back, sent me to school, and, um, and be able to help back in Haiti. That's about it. Well, you've certainly come a long way since yeah. coming over here to the States. Right now you are projected to be a second-round pick, possibly third, but possibly even mm -hmm. as high as a late first-round pick. Yeah. Right now, what is your hope for draft day? Um, pretty much, you know, you never, I don't know where I might end up. I don't know who's going to pick me up, so I'm just waiting. And whoever picked me up, you know, just be ready to go out there and do my best, you know. Yeah, you, do, you don't know who's going to pick yeah. you. But do you have a team you'd like to play for? Um, I was thinking about staying closer to home, but that's about it. But, you know. And closer to home would probably mean the New England Patriots. Yeah, Patriots, you know, Jets, New York, I mean, Giants, you know, Eagles probably. So. Okay, yeah. I say that only because you went to school, you're go, you go to school yeah. at UMass, and of course, Connecticut, you can yeah. have a, a number of different uh, fan allegiances, if you mm -hmm. will. Well, of course, as you know by now, everybody has an opinion on how you'll play, where you'll yeah. go. Uh, Mel Kuyper Jr. had this to say about you and where you could go come draft day. Let's listen. I think when you look at Vladimir Dukas, offensive lineman out of UMass, one of the best one, non-1A players in this draft, certainly a kid that comes out of the Colonial Athletic Association. He's going up against some pretty good players. I think when you look at where he projects, could be a left tackle, could be an offensive guard, something even right tackle. So with his size, his athleticism, his competitiveness, I think when you get the technique straightened out and you transition to the NFL, you're looking at a potential starter who could even go to that Pro Bowl level potentially in the NFL. But right now I would say solid starter in two or three years and a very good developmental young offensive lineman who I think ends up in round two of the NFL draft. What are your thoughts on what Mel had to say? Sounds good. <laughs> Dead on, right? Yeah. You're not saying that just because you're sitting here in Bristol at ESPN. Nah, it does sound good though, you know. That's it. I think I think it is right for the most part, you know. Um, you know, the size of LSC, I mean, you know, I got all those, but at the same time, um, you know, teams looking at me because, you know, I got good feet, you know, and they wonder if I could play left tackle, guard, or right tackle. And so far, all my workout, they've been, you know, trying to, like, you know, put me on different spot, right tackle, guard, and a little left, you know, left tackle. So, never know. So, wherever I might end up at, you know, I might be playing guard, tackle. But Does that matter to you? Because most of the talk, a lot of what you read, is that most teams would likely switch you over to guard. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Like, I'll... I'll probably, you know, will like to go as a left tackle because, you know, I've been playing this for, like, pretty much all my, you know, college career, and I feel comfortable there. But, you know, I played guard before, and I, I, play, I, play, I play right tackle before, so I feel like 
the same time, if I can play any, you know, position on the line, you know, it's, the better it is for me. In the few seconds I have left with you, obviously your dad had yeah. you and your brother move over here to give you a better life. Since you moved here in 2002 to where you are right now, the first day of the professional, of the rest of your professional career is in three weeks. What do you think about? Um, pretty much just, um, just can't wait for that day to come by. I'm just, you know, right now I'm just in school working out, you know, going to class, and pretty much I'm, like, waiting patiently for that day to come. That's about it. All right. Well, that day will come in just about three weeks. Uh, Vladimir, yeah. we appreciate you stopping by to talk with us. Best of luck to you come draft day, and best of luck to you in your professional career. Thanks.